Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about Duck Dodgers. Now, I think we're all familiar with the name, because who didn't love those two episodes from the Looney Tunes? However, I will not be talking about that. Instead, I'll be talking about the TV series from Cartoon Network. Now, as I'm sure you've already figured out, this was based off of the two Looney Tunes shorts, Duck Dodgers, in the 24th and a half century! However, this show takes a different approach. Instead of it being just about Daffy versus Marvin the Martian, instead, he was just an average duck who ended up being put in suspended animation, and then, in the 24th and a half century, he was woken up. He ends up becoming part of the Space Force that was designed to protect Earth from the Martians. And, pretty much as you may have guessed, his arch-nemesis is Marvin the Martian. Or in this case, they call him the Commander. However, there's a lot more in this show than just Marvin the Martian, because in this case, we often see other Martians, including the Martian Queen, who, believe it or not, is played by famous actress Tia Carrer. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounced her last name. Now, I know what you may be wondering. Are there other characters from the Duck Dodgers shorts? Well, yes, we do have Cadet, who is played by Porky Pig, of course. You had to have him. It just wouldn't be right. And you had that IQ guy who, you know, told him about the shaving cream on that planet. You know, you remember him. Except in this part, he has a little bit more to it than that, because he's their top scientist. Not just the guy who's saying, Dodgers, can you do this? Can you go find Planet X to get that shaving cream we need? Which is a real step up, if you ask me. We also see Dodgers go on great adventures. A couple of them, he dealt with Nasty Canasta. And there was one time that the commander decided not to fight Dodgers because his arch enemy showed up. Who you may recognize as that professor who wanted to put Bugs Bunny's brain inside that giant robot. The show was really all about wacky adventures in space. You know, just him fighting the Martians. Most of the time, he's just kind of getting lucky, but there were quite a few times he's actually outmaneuvering him in pretty good ways. But it wasn't a bad show. It had a lot of good humor in it, a lot of good action, and believe it or not, it actually had some pretty interesting pop culture references going on in there. Like, for instance, there was one episode where Dodgers ate something, and all of a sudden, he's dreaming that he is Samurai Jack, and his arch nemesis is the evil Ah Chew. That was a really good episode, too. It gave me a lot of laughs. It's definitely one you might want to check out. But there was another good one where he ended up joining the Green Lanterns. What happened was he and Hal Jordan had the same dry cleaner, and the guy screwed up and gave him the wrong uniforms. Again, that's another episode you might want to check out, because that is pretty epic. And I especially love when Duck Dodgers meets Sinestro, and he says, Hey, you really do look like Zid Devil. I know. I get that a lot. Oh man, I was I always wondered if anyone ever called that out. I never thought I would actually see it happen on a TV show. That's absolutely priceless that they called that out. And try this for an interesting pop culture point. The theme song was actually sung by legendary singer Tom Jones. And in the theme song, he actually says Duck Dodgers in the 24th and one half century, which was a real nice touch because that's what it's supposed to be. The show only went for three years from 2003 to 2005, but it was a pretty darn good three years. I could kind of see why it only lasted for that long, because with a show like this, there really was only so much you could do. Because let's get real, people. You could only come up with so many good jokes, so many good moments with Marvin the Martian, and so many adventures in space. If you've never seen this show, you definitely should look it up. It's actually really good. It's got some great humor, some good action, and some pretty darn good epic adventures. So if you ever get the time, look it up. I think you'll like it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.